my favorite Dan Henderson story. We were in uh, Caroline's Comedy Club in New York, and there was this guy that was heckling. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. And I go, listen, man, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to have Dan Henderson come over here and hold you down while he fucks your girlfriend. The crowd goes nuts, and Dan goes, why would I hold him down when I could just stare him down? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling That's you, the good. fucking place erupted. The fucking place erupted, That's and it was work. like one of the creepiest things I ever heard a man say to another man <laughs> ever. Like you could see the dude, the look, the dude just wanted to crawl out of the room and just just hide somewhere. Yeah, the, the feeling of looking over at that fucking savage after he just says something like that to you, and you're like, oh, let it change. Right. Let me get out of here. Well, and Henderson broke <laughs> etiquette. You know, there's an etiquette amongst men. If one guy's with a girl and one guy's not, you, you're you always wrong. You let him sl- you let him look like a hero. You know, yeah. then it comes back to you someday. Well, I think in that situation, it was there was 350 fucking people in that crowd. That guy was a jackass. He was drunk. Dan Henderson was there, and he was like, well, I'll shut this fucking dummy up. Right. So oh, I like he, it. It's a beautiful line. Yeah, he essentially, like, uh, trumped my, my heckler comment. Like, I, I had shut him down, and then Henderson came along and put the nuclear bomb on top of it. Right. He put the H, but the <laughs> verbal H bomb. The verbal H bomb on impressed. top of it. That's good work by Dan. It was very good work. On the spot like that, the best line you could have ever written. Sure. You can't write anything creepier than that. Yeah. Why would I hold him down when I could just stare him down? Right. That's that's a, a guy has to think like that. In order to have that thought in his head, in order to be able to to say that verbally. I mean, if you're going to be a writer and you're going to come up with that, it might take you 6 hours alone doing cocaine and drinking coffee to pretend you're the type of guy that would think that way to have that line come out of your character's mouth. Sure. It took Dan Henderson one half of one second. Sure. He just waited.